Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other, and I recently ran across some radio commercials for a chain that existed in the United States back in the 1960s, 70s, early 80s called Woolco. I do remember the, those stores. They were a sister store to Woolworths, and they started in Columbus, Ohio in 1962 by the F.W. Woolworth com Company. It was a full-time discount department store, unlike the, like the five and dime Woolworth stores, which operated at the time. At its peak, Wol Wolco had hundreds of stores in the U.S. as well as Canada and the United Kingdom. While the American stores were closed in 1983, the chain remained active in Canada until it was sold to rival Walmart, which was looking to enter into the Canadian market. All the former U.K. Wolco stores were so sold by Kingfisher, who then bought the UK Woolworths business to Gateway, who subsequently sold them to Asta. Creation of Woolworth, Wilco coincided with the expansion of suburbia. Woolworths flagship stores were still doing well, but the company wanted to tap into the growing discount department store market without diluting its dominant position in the variety store business. First Wilco store opened in Columbus, Ohio by 1966. There were 18 in the United States and 9 in Canada. Plans for 30 stores to be added each year. This led to tremendous growth as over 300 Wilco stores opened across North America by the mid-1970s. Some were converted from Woolworth stores. A number of Wilco stores were opened in the United Kingdom. 19, late 1960s, the largest one in 1970 on one floor in Britain with an, air, with an area of 114,000 square feet and a parking lot of 1,250 spaces. The stores were typical Woolworths. Woolco store was over 100,000 square feet, quite large for discount store, many of its departments. Shoes and jewelry, for example, were leased to third-party operators, common practice early among early discounters. By 1979, it became clear that the earlier cost-saving plan would not be enough to save Wolco from failure, so Woolworth combined the discount store operating unit with the variety stores and began to close stores in unprofitable markets around, around the United States. I remember going to Wilco and Wilco was a lot like Kmart. Uh, that's 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 the what I what I remember about them. I I didn't go to Wilco very off, often, but I I was impressed with them when I, I first saw one in Huntsville, Alabama, in the 19, late night early nineteen seventies, and I, I thought it was a pretty cool cool store. And, was overseas for five years, came back to the United States, Northern Virginia, and they had a they had some Wilco locations around the area. I remember going a few times to stores and had a nice selection of things. I I did, like I said, run across some old radio commercials on YouTube, and they were advertising latex paint for sale, so they did they did sell that. I remember Woolworths selling paint as well. I remember buying some paint from Woolworths, as a matter of fact, and painting my bedroom. On September 24th, 1982, Wilco announced it would close all of its United States stores. The final Wilco store to have a grand opening in the U.S. was September 29th, 1982. Launch of the Boutte, Louisiana store, which was five days after the chain's announcement of closing all stores. By January 1983, all 336 stores were, were closed. Wilco's inventory was valued at $1 billion making Wilco's in liquidation the largest in the U.S. history at the time. However, the Canadian division of approximately 120 stores remained open. So that was what I was able to find out on, on Wilco. And I do, I do, like I said, I do remember the chain existing. And it was kind of, I thought it was kind of abrupt when it closed down. I, I was kind of surprised, actually, because I didn't really see any indication that they were failing or anything as, as a as a business but yeah I was I was in 
young, I was a young adult at the time. I really didn't know too much about, you know, businesses and, well, I, I'd see some that would, would start closing down and having like sales and, and everything must go and it and gave, gave me a good indication that some of these places were go, going out of business like I still see see going on today but with Wilco I really I really didn't didn't see that happening it just kind of kind of happened all of a sudden and, and they were gone and that being said I'm looking for ideas like always on shows to do please let me know if it's feasible. I'll research it and I'll, I'll do a show on it. Like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.